everyone, I'm Caroline, and today I thought I'd try to make something with some charity shop purchases I got. Charity shop, thrift store, same sort of thing, different country. So I bought these two lamps and they are, if I show you there, they're for putting little candles in. So I got together a few things. I got two of these, they cost me, where's the price? One pound each. And I've got some chalk paint and some scratch cover. I've got some craft sticks from Hobbycraft. I've got a piece of driftwood that I found on the beach. I've got some red acrylic paint. And hopefully, after adding a few embellishments, we'll be able to make quite a nice Christmas ornament. So I've got these very shiny bottoms to the lamp. Let's take the sticker off. Right, so... The next thing I'm going to do is cover them with some chalky finish furniture paint from Rust-Oleum. A classic smooth touch flat, mast fi flat matte finish. Oosh, I can't even say it properly. Right, because these are so glossy, I'm just going to give them a quick rub over with a bit of sandpaper. They are, as you can see, very shiny. They're like mirrors. Which is very pretty if you like that sort of thing. But I wanted something a little more rustic for this particular project I'm making like to have it more wood and earthy quite farmhouse vintage type looking right so time to paint these i'd like to think i'm going to get away with one coat but being real about it i think i'm probably going to need the two So while the first coat is drying, we can get on with the next stage. And I've got these popsicle sticks and I've worked out that they are 15 centimetres wide. I tend to measure in either inches or centimetres, depending which one actually comes smack on what I want. Now, they were a little bit shorter than six inches, but they were exactly 15 centimetres. So I want to cut them in half. So that makes seven and a half centimetres for each stick. But not there. And I'm going to use my scissors and chop lots and lots of popsicle sticks. Right, so all those little sticks are going to go around this base. Now it's a little bit wonky because it's a piece of driftwood. I've cut the ends off and my plan is to go all the way around the outside with the popsicle sticks. But before I do, I think it maybe I should stain them first so that I can get right down in the gaps. took forever <laughs> it was a very slow process i enjoyed it but it's certainly not the sort of thing to do if you're in a hurry stick them on and then paint them afterwards now while the camera was off as i was cleaning my area i put another coat of paint onto the bases of the lamps i 
put it on a bit quick really because they should need a little bit longer to dry but because i'm trying to get this video out this evening i didn't have the time so they're a bit blotchy so when i finish this video i'll have to redo them give them a quick rub down and another coat and they'll be sorted right so there is the base and these are now going to become the walls of my base where we're going to put the lamps so this is going to be a job for the glue gun this is going to be a challenge because I'm down to my last three glue sticks and I don't want to go to the shop. So let's see if we can make those last. If not, I'm going to have to go shopping. I still have a whole one just started in there, though, so I think we'll be OK. So the plan is to have these running level with the base of the container. We call it the container. We could call it the receptacle if we wanted to sound posh, couldn't we? The basket. So they will be going on in a row like that which sounds really easy and simple until you start trying to do it <laughs> because I've got no support in the middle section. So I'm hoping they'll stay in place. And then the plan is to put some string around halfway up if I need it. It'll look decorative and it'll also stop them splaying outwards. But I think we may be OK. This should be just enough depth on this. Ideally, I would have liked a thicker piece of wood, but I think we'll be OK. We'll give it a go. And if it doesn't work, we'll come up with plan B. And if that doesn't work, we'll come up with plan C. And E. And possibly E. Right, so we've moved on to plan B because for some reason, probably there's not enough depth on the base wood. I can't get it to stick. So I'm going to come in with some lollipop sticks. Some smaller ones than the other ones I've used. Get a good wadge of glue. It's quite cold today, so I have to work quite quickly. This glue is drying so fast. And then I'm going to glue them to some lollipop sticks and then try gluing them onto the piece of wood. Right, that was a bit of a fail. As you can see, these have not held up well onto the bit of wood. It was a nice idea, but not a good idea. So I'm taking them all off because I've got a plan. When I went to buy glue, I found this. Now this is a perfect size for covering with these and that means I've got a lot more integrity. I can actually glue these to the box rather than hope they'll hold themselves up together with just a few struts. So let's see how this goes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is move them all out of the way because the inside's a little bit boring, isn't it? I don't really want to have that on display but I've got this paper which I love. So now all I have to do is start gluing these lollipop sticks along the edge. They're already cut and already died because of the disaster we had. So I can just get on with it really simply and quickly.
So that is looking so much better already, but the bottom's a bit scruffy. It says lovely licorice toffee, but we don't want it to say that. So I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue a piece of paper onto the bottom. Matches the paper that's lying in the inside of the box. It's a nice touch, I think. Right, we finished with the bottom. Now we can concentrate on what's going on the top. Now I'm really happy with this so far, but I wanted to do something that made it look like it had handles. Now I did have in the charity shop these. Now there's some cones missing off the front there. So I don't really want to keep these bits. I was just wondering whether I could use the handles. And they're wired on, so I'll just snip the wires off. And let's see how easy these come apart. Sorry for the jingling. I know that one came apart much better. Right, so we've got these two. This one's looking a little bit tatty. I think you could do with a little bit of extra help there. And there is some blue on here, which I think is blue tack and looks a mess. So we need to sort out those bits of blue. And I think the best thing we can do is stick some ribbon on. Hmm. If we're going to stick those there, then we could put a bit of something on there rather than ribbon. Oh, I like that idea. Plenty of glue. Don't want them coming off. Just to be sure, I'm adding a little bit of glue on either side. Of the hoop as well as just at the bottom because they're a little bit wobbly there perfect right so now i want to put something where the blue tack was and as i say i think ribbon will be good so oh, either ribbon or so we could put one of those either side like that oh i think that's lovely and i'll put some new berries i think on there a blob of glue and hold that in place a second and I'll put another blob of glue along there we can hold the other one in place at the same time so I'm going to add bits of fir tree and some berries onto the top of the handles it will hide the marks from the blue tack and hopefully look much better rub down now I thought we could perhaps put a little bit of string around there but the first thing I need to do is check that the tops will actually still fit on if I do that ah no they're a perfect fit so it's good I didn't but we need to do something with these we need to decorate them in some way you know I could put a little bit of string around the top or what else could we do that would look very decorative we've got these bells here Hmm, I wonder, let's see how far apart these come. Right, so we've got a double bell. And that needs to, if we glue that to the glass. Hmm, we need to put it down twice. And then it's too short. Hmm. Right, well that's very awkward, isn't it? If I tie these, let's try tying them. Will that take some of the length? Well, that's helped a bit, but there's still just a little bit too much on there. Oh, and I didn't really want to cut the rope. I wonder what a double knot would look like. If I can do one. Ah! Now, if I put that there, 
That, I think, is going to look really pretty. Ooh, right, so we'll do that. I'm going to try using this glue to put this rope on, or should I use some tacky glue? Hmm. All purpose. Hmm. Could try some tacky glue. Let's give it a go. So we'll need to take this carefully off. It dries clear. So in theory, it should work. But then there are theories and there's reality and they don't often meet up, especially when it comes to me and crafting. Oh, now it's going everywhere. Ew, ew, ew. Saying that, if it dries clear, we'll be fine to pop it. Oh, that is actually working very well. I know it looks a mess, but I'm not going to panic. Just clean my hands off, clean a little bit of this residue off. But if it's going to dry clear, then that's not a problem. And give those a polish up later. So now we need to do the same with another set of bells. Pop on the bells. Ah, oh, we made a lot less mess at the time. It goes to show practice makes perfect. Right, so while that is drying, we're just about coming to the end of the job. So these now I can decorate them a little bit more i think the bells are going to be enough i think it may spoil it if i put anything else on but what i do want to do is put something in here so it's not just the candles so i've got the option i could glue those candle holders down but i don't want to i think they it's nice to be able to change them out or do other things with it so we need to fill in that in there and i could either put some branches for example, we could just put lots of that sort of thing around. I do have a lot of branches. But then you're not going to see the bell. So I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave it like that. So if we pop those on, let's see what it's looking like so far. There. Oops, that's upside down. That was best to put it on the right way. Right, they're looking really good. So if I'm going to do anything else, I think I will put something on the front of this box. And if I'm going to put anything, I think I'd like to put something that would coordinate with these. Hmm. I've got a few other little bits and pieces here. I've got this, which is wired on with some berries. I've got a few more bells. Oh, I think we put two little bells. I love, I love these bells. I think they're beautiful. So if I take the lamps out, because you can't see what I'm doing. Put those there to dry. Take those out and then show you this is where we're going to be working. So if we put something like, for example, there and then two bells hanging and some berries on the top. Oh, that's good. Look very decorative, I think. So I'll take these berries off this piece of wood. I'm going to have to cut the wire, I think. So I'll knot those two bells together. Like that, nice and tight. And then chop the ends. And I think I'll fray those ends. I think they look quite pretty. Very rustic, very farmhouse. Like that. So first things first, we need to glue on the bits of branches. Are we happy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the centre. So we glue those there. One there, one there. I think we put a little bit further down as well. To make sure it sticks after the disasters we've had today with things not sticking. I think we'll be a little bit overly cautious and glue it to death. Right, the next thing that needs to go on is the berries. No, they're not. They're bells. <laughs> Which side should we put it? It's a neater knot that way. A neater knot. Put that on there. Like that. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And then we got this, which it's not very good with the wires showing, so we do need to cover that little bottom bit. Hide that behind there and then put that on. Oh, yes, I think that's going to work, so we'll... Put some glue on there. Uh, 
there and we'll pop that on there. And if we put it at just the right place, I can hide that little end of the pick under a bell. Hmm, could do it. I like it that way. I think it looks nicer than over the top. Yes, I think I'm going to put it there. Right, we need glue. Try not to get any more on my fingers. If I went out in the cold now, I wouldn't need gloves. I've got so much glue on me. Put that in there. Up at that angle. And push the string of the bells down too. And oh, now I think we're really getting somewhere. I'm going to have to re-stick along there. Use some tacky glue now because I'm out of glue stick. And now it's just a case of putting in our lights. Finding our candles. Very festive. And now putting our lampshades on. Now they're not quite dry. So you can still see the glue looking white at the moment, but that will it's not a problem, that will dry clear. Just needs a little bit longer and I don't have a bit longer because I've got to go straight away and edit this video so that I can get it out on time this evening, in theory. So there it is. My little basket. We got there in the end. My first idea didn't work out, but never give up. If you get a bit of inspiration and it goes wrong, just try something else. So let's clean this up now and have a look what this looks like without all the clutter behind it. So there we have our finished object. Now I know... The glue is still visible. It'll take uh, probably an hour before that actually goes clear, but it'll be fine when it does. So let's have a little look at our lamps. You can see there, just the bells. I love the simplicity of it just being bells on there. I didn't. I could have put more ferns and things on there, bits of conifer and berries, but I love it like that. On the handles, we've got a little bit of decoration here. I'll have to pick that bit of glue off later, but I can't at the moment because I'm so sticky. It'll just, I'll stick to the berries. And then you can see the beautiful decoration on the front. I think that's come together nicely. Now I can see there's a little bit of glue, so I'm going to show in. So I'm going to stick a little bit of something on top of that glue. And then I'll show you the full panorama of this really clever idea that didn't cost much at all. One pack of lollipop sticks, some bits and pieces from some vintage decorations that I had here. I did buy the lamps, but they were in the charity shop, 99p each. I bought these little candles. They were, I think they were four for a pound. I got these berries. I got a bunch of those for a pound. Everything else. Oh, my paper. Uh, my paper, I did buy a book from the range. I think it was 2 99 something like that. It was very reasonable. And the box was free, courtesy of Home Bargains. Thank you, Home Bargains. this video then please give me a thumbs up and it would be great if you could subscribe i would really love to have you coming along on my journey and seeing the sort of things that i make and becoming part of my home on the hillside family i'll see you all next time but until then don't forget have fun bye